I've been a bad boy. <laughs> All right, so listen, yes, I've done something stupid uh, for, for good reason, and I'd like to explain myself if no one disagrees. I have pre-ordered Fortnite. For those of you who don't know what Fortnite is, blam! Fortnite is an action RPG building, not really survival, but you know, there's zombies and it's tower defensing and you got to build these forts and structures and whatnot and and there's there's progression and, and the collection element and it actually looks really really cool and before i say anything negative about the business model which i'm going to brace yourselves yes i'm actually really excited for the game that's why i pre-ordered why have i pre-ordered it well um unfortunately they're, they're teasing people they're trying to entice people to pre-order by giving them a four-day head start essentially if you pre-order the game you get to play it four days early on the 21st instead of the 25th you also get a bunch of bundled microtransaction sort of pre-order bonus shit thrown in there as well, which isn't really my style. I prefer to start on a, on a level blank slate playing field sort of situation. That's just my play style, but each to their own. But unfortunately, when you're trying to grow a YouTube channel as I am, that four day head start is really valuable for getting noticed. So unfortunately, in this case, I am gonna have to swallow my pride and do what's best for the channel. Why am I making this video in the first place? Well, just in case you guys are unaware of what Fortnite is all about in terms of business model, this is why it feels a little bit scummy to me. Fortnite is releasing into early access on the 25th and a year or so after that, it's going free to play. That's correct. It's a pre-order for an early access game that's going to become a free to play game you see where I'm going here? And for those of you who have no problem with that, hey, that's fine, more power to you. But if you do have an issue with what I've just said, <laughs> guys, I, I encourage you, I implore you, don't pre-order the game. Just wait a few more days, wait to see the non-sponsored videos to get an idea of the game, you know, just to make sure they're not like really putting the screws on you here. Because make no mistake, there will, there will be microtransactions. Whether there are microtransactions, you know, in, in the early access period, there probably will be. They shouldn't be, but they probably will be. Um, I don't know, but there's gonna be, there, absolutely there's gonna be microtransactions once it goes free to play. So my recommendation as some random asshole on the internet with absolutely no authority whatsoever is just don't pre-order the game and wait for the non-sponsored videos. You want a recommendation of who to watch? Well, you can watch me, but in an effort to make this video not seem terribly self-serving, I recommend my buddy Jester Ark. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel and Twitch channel in the description. He has shown interest in doing at least some dank streams of Fortnite and look, maybe I might join him. Maybe I will, we'll see how we go. I haven't, haven't clued him up yet. So it's a bit of a surprise, shh, don't tell him. So to finish off the video, I'd like to do the same thing I did at the end of the last vlog and show off a game from my past that was, was very important to me. What are we gonna call it? Ricardo's Wall of Game. Look, that's a terrible title, but we'll stick with it for now. Let me know in the comments below if you got a better one. All right, let's do this. All righty. Age of Empires, the original, the, the greatest. Listen, so let me tell you a story about this game. I actually got a demo of it, mm, probably on one of those like five five game demo discs that they used to, used to put out with like magazines and stuff like that. Sometimes in cereal boxes as well. If you're, if you're too young to, re to remember, in like the late 90s and early 2000s, you used to be able to actually get video game demos and they were used as, as advertising for the game, I guess. But, uh, you know, as things like YouTube and social media sort of became more prevalent, I suppose they just stopped making them, which is terrible. Like, I miss demos. They were so good. I used to, I used to get so excited and my, my, my gaming juices would would moisten up from playing those demos and, and, and waiting for the game to come out. It was really cool. Anyway, so I got this on a demo disc and I played the single mission on it so many times. I reckon I probably put like 20, 30 hours. It might have been more, but I'm, I'm saying 20, 30 hours because I'm assuming it felt longer than it actually was because I was much younger. I finally got the full version, believe it or not, from a cereal box. I think it was uh, Cornflakes. There you go. Kellogg's. Kellogg's right there. I got a full version of Age of Empires from a cereal box. How incredible is that? Those were the days, guys. Those were the days. And I actually went online and I found 
the, 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 the proper sleeve thing for it. And I printed it out and put it in myself, right? This is, this is not real. On the back as well, I, I did that. I printed that out myself. That's how, it, how devoted I was to it. You know, back in the day when, when we cherished physical copies. Oh, I miss those days. I really do. I look at my Steam library of, of all those games and not a single case for, for any of them. And it makes my heart weep. It really does. Anyway, Age of Empires, guys. Let me know. Has anyone played Age of Empires? Did you love the shit out of it? I would love to see a proper sequel to Age of Empires, but I'm pretty sure it's never going to come. Sadly. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think of Fortnite? Are you excited for it? What do you think of the business model? Am I talking out of my ass? <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Taste the game. Let me know if you caught the Easter egg near the beginning of the video. And I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.